When change comes, routine is what helps to manage it. So how do you create a routine to manage the changes in your life? Choosing to stay committed to a habit and having the will to add on to it or take away certain habits is ultimately what builds the muscle to accelerating your success. This is a podcast about networking. Networking is the ability to communicate and establish relationships to help you and others progress in their future endeavors. In light of the world changing right in front of our eyes, it's very important now more than ever to learn and master the skill of networking. It used to just be about physical networking, but with social media now being a part of our daily lives, the ability to share dialogue has shifted from face to face to screen to screen. Today, more people are becoming more social on social media and missing the tools of how to be social in real life. In order to establish your network, you have to learn how to communicate both on and off the screen. Creating and maintaining your network is the key to unlocking your potential within yourself and opens the door to the endless possibilities of a successful future. This podcast teaches you how to establish your network and how to maintain relationships on and off your screen. Hey, nice to meet you. The Networking Podcast, hosted by Desiree Jones. It's a pleasure to meet you. Talk soon. Hey, hey, nice to meet you. I'm Desiree Jones, or Des for short, and welcome to Hey, Nice to Meet You, the Networking Podcast, the podcast that teaches you how to communicate establish your network, and maintain relationships both on and off your screen. And today's topic is, hey, what's your routine? So before I get into this episode, I'd first like to start off by saying thank you to anyone who has been listening to this episode or to this podcast since episode one of the podcast. This will be my last episode of the season as I take a break and get ready for season two, headed to you in early August. So this episode, I believe, will be very impactful because this episode can be applied and paired with all of the other podcast episodes we discuss. All of them, literally. Following up requires routine. Remembering to write things down that we discuss in an episode takes routine and making a podcast, hey, or creating content of any type and being consistent at it also takes routine. And once you find your routine, once you find that routine, once you find that pace that works for you, you'll start to slowly get into a groove that can help you intentionally fulfill your goals. So the only thing I ask is that you be patient with yourself because a routine does not happen overnight. Sometimes it takes failing, forgetting, or even just reaching a breaking point where you just had enough. And it's just just time to start something new. So if you're not sure where to start when it comes to creating a routine, you've come to the right place. Today, in the last episode of the season, I'm going to talk about ways that can help you get back on track. So today's topic, hey, what's your routine? This is the episode that's going to teach you how to create and develop a routine for yourself. But before we get into the topic, let's get into the book of the day. Yeah, book of the day, because as you know, reading is fundamental and it's very important to make it a habit and, you know, routine, routine. But if you prefer audiobooks, you know, that's fine. But something about the touch of a book and the flip of a page brings solitude to the mind. So with that, today's book I'd like to shout out as we head into the summer on this last episode is The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. Yep. So it's a fairly simple read, around 160-ish pages, that breaks down not only ways to be successful, but how to succeed at an accelerated rate. The book also discusses how some actions can lead to unsuccessful outcomes at an accelerated rate as well. As it states in the book, the compound effect is the principle of reaping huge rewards from a series of small 
smart choices. And while results are massive, the steps in the moment don't feel significant. This book helped me to take a step back and evaluate my habits, the people around me, and anything that either helped or hindered my progress. Now, again, like I said before, no one is perfect. Sometimes I had to reread one of the chapters to get a grip on myself, but it was the knowledge from this book that gave me insight on how to navigate through my own personal calamity to exceed my own expectations. So the book of the day, book of the season, last episode of the season is The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy, multiplying your success one simple step at a time. All right, so now we're going to get into the today's topic. Hey, what's your routine? So what is a routine? Well, according to Google Dictionary, routine is a sequence of actions regularly followed. A sequence of actions regularly followed. So you probably already have a routine and don't even realize it. I know for me, during my gab years, graduating and broke years, which I'll talk about throughout the podcast, My routine was to wake up around noon or 1 p.m., sometimes like 3 p.m., then go for a walk or run outside, use my dad's weights to get my exercise on, get some food, watch some TV, apply to jobs, you know, reach out to people in my network, find clients for my business, watch more TV and stay up all night, editing videos for the clients that I currently had. That was my routine. But then there came a point in my life where I had to change my routine so that I could get into the habit of achieving the goals I had and making room for new ones. So the thing about a routine is it can be good or bad, right? And while some routines can help you get to one level, you may have to tweak your routine to get to the next level. You may even need to change your routine to maintain the level that you're already on. So, you know, instead of waking up late, I went to bed early. While applying to jobs every day, I also applied to fellowships and took courses. Instead of watching TV or getting on social media, I read books and listened to sermons to feed my spirit. So how do you know when it's time to fix your routine? Well, you either feel like you're stuck doing the same thing and expecting a different result and nothing changing at all, or... Change happens and you have no choice but to adjust to the change that is out of your control. Prime example of this, the pandemic or the panoramic. I call it the panoramic, pandemic for the proper folks. This unforgettable moment in history was a disruptor to routines around the world. Yes, it made some people uncomfortable. It made some people nervous, fearful, And while it made others bold, ambitious, and fearless, the routine of work changed, the routine of how we communicated changed, and as a result, for better or worse, people changed. When change comes, routine is what helps to manage it. So how do you create a routine to manage the changes in your life? Well, here we go. This is it. Take the notes. Write it down. This is where we get into the thick of it, right? Into the thick of it. Okay. Number one, evaluate the changes, meaning figure out what in your life has actually changed and why. Has that change made you successful or has it made you less successful in life? Who's the cause of this change? Is it your fault or was it out of your control? Routines change for the better when you take the time to evaluate how change has impacted your current routine. So number one, evaluate the changes. Number two, evaluate your current routine, meaning write down or think through everything you do in a day. What's the reason behind your routine? What are good habits in your day? What are the bad habits in your day? How are those habits contributing to the current routine? Will those current habits help you adapt to the changes in your life in a positive way? Number two, evaluate your current routine. Number three, so after 
you've evaluated the change and you evaluated the routine, this is where the fun part happens. Number three, you experiment and reshape with new routines and habits. So you try out new habits or actions that could help you manage the new change in front of you or change you wish to see if change hasn't happened yet. So the last thing, number three, experiment and reshape with new routines and habits to help change or alter your current routine. So I hope this makes sense. Number one, evaluate the changes in your life. Two, evaluate your current routine. And three, experiment and reshape with new routines and habits to help build a new and improved routine for yourself. All right. So now we're going to get into the segment. Then it all went left. Then it all went left. Yes. This is a segment where I talk about a situation that went totally terrible, but led to the right path. So let's go ahead and get into this segment. Then it all went left. So during the pandemic, during the panoramic for me, I was on the hunt for a job, to be honest. With nonstop tenacity, nonstop ambition and fortitude, I now have a great job. But during my hunt for the job and the internship, I put on a few pounds. I did. I put on, I put on a few pounds. I was eating like crazy. Um, I ate a bunch of junk food, ate a bunch of fast food, all unhealthy, you know. And uh, I noticed I was starting to grow a gut, like a gut gut. And, you know, like if you've seen me before, like I'm like pretty slender. So that gut was like a big deal. I was like, what is this? Where did this come from? So by the time I settled into my new place, I realized that I needed to really make it apparent to hit the gym. So I did. I got to get back to the gym. So I was like, all right, let me get back to the gym. And let me tell you, it was awful. It was awful. I think there was an expectation for me, you know, to just have this beach body. Like I'm about to be a beach body baddie in two weeks, which newsflash, uh, it's not common, nor is it healthy. And, you know, I'm not a person that would do anything to my body surgically. If you do, that's your choice. All good. But I choose to just go at it one day at a time. That was just me. So that being said, I decided to make it a habit to go to the gym. I decided to add the gym to my routine for the day. So I decided to go early in the mornings before work because I knew that if I go in the evenings, it would be too crowded. And I was not for that. Like I used to actually go in the evenings. I was like, oh, this is too much. We're in the pandemic. I don't know. So I decided to go in the morning. And I posted TikToks every morning of documenting myself to head into the gym to hold myself accountable for the world to see. Yes. You can actually see it on my TikTok at the Book of Des under one of my playlists called To the Gym. I'm always saying to the gym, good morning, I'm going to the gym because I had to make it apparent that I was going to the gym and out of anything, I have to hold myself accountable. If I can say I'm going to the gym and put it on social, then I'm going to the gym and there's no stopping me from going to the gym because I had to do it. So when I first started to make it a habit going to the gym, the first few days I was not feeling it. I even talked about it in my, po- in my uh, podcast. I'm on the podcast. I even talked about it on my TikTok. I was like, I'm not feeling this. This is not great. Some days I would oversleep and just not go at all. Nope. I was like, I'm not having this. And at that point, you know, I was about a month in and at the gym, I felt like I was dragging myself there. Like, oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. But I was still like, you know what? I'm at least going to try. I'm just going to try to get up one more time. So today marks nine months of me consistently going to the gym. Ah, And I feel better. I do. I actually feel a lot better. Um, But to be honest, you know, the results, um, you know, the results I want, they're still not there. Um, My goal is to get some abs, guys. I want to get a little six pack or some type of, you know, hardcore abs. That's like just my goal. I just want, I just want abs. So I'm learning now, you know, it takes a lot more work and it takes a lot more time. But I'm committed to the process of making it happen. So one day, I'm going to have a six pack and I'm going to show y'all. Yes, I am. I'm going to show it off. I t- Look, if I'm working my butt off to, to work out and get the six pack, everybody going to see it. 
everybody go see it. All right. Y'all going to see these abs. They're not there yet, but they own the weight. You know what I mean? So what did I learn? What did I learn from this whole thing about my gut and going to the gym? Well, a routine is easy to have, but finding the right routine for you takes time. When I first started going to the gym, I had to find, you know, and test out different times that work for me in the evenings or the mornings, even while at the gym. I had to figure out what I needed to work on and what machines work best for me. Having a solid routine, again, does not happen overnight. Sometimes it takes trial and error. A routine, you ready? I'm about to give you a metaphor. A routine is like a standard barbell. Okay, a routine is like a standard barbell. It can be lifted by pretty much anyone who wants to give it a try. The weights are like the habits. You choose the habits that work best for you and add it to the routine. Some habits require more strength to break into. So choosing to stay committed to a habit and having the will to add on to it or take away Certain habits is ultimately what builds the muscle to accelerating your success. That was good, right? That was good. Yeah, I know. I, I made that one up. That was great. I'm good at that stuff. But yeah, so that's the routine, you know? That's that's what it's all about. Creating routine, staying consistent with the routine, staying committed to the routine, even when you feel like you just, I just can't do it anymore. Think about the goal. Think about why you're doing the routine. All of that comes into play to keep you consistent and to keep you motivated to keep going. So now we're going to get into the 100 Commandments of Confidence. 100 Commandments of Confidence. Again, this is the last one of the season. And I want to make sure this is like punch. Like this is going to be in you. Like you got this. My last 100 Commandments of Confidence is thou shall try again. Thou shall try again. Confidence is understanding that while you may have failed the first time, that does not mean you should stop altogether. Trying in itself takes courage. Give yourself the courage to try. One more time. 100 Commandments of Confidence. Thou shall try again. Try, try again. And now we're gonna get into our follow-up hack. So as we head into the summer, you may be out attending conferences or retreats or just spending some time with loved ones. You never know who you could be chatting with and end up connecting with. So if you receive a phone number, remember to confirm the number in your phone. Send a text or a phone call so the other person can confirm that number. Once both you and the person you're connected with confirm each other's number, Hit them up with the quick text as a follow-up so they remember who you are. That's it. So when you put the number in the phone, make sure the number is saved. Make sure you reached out already. You reached out, both of y'all, all right, this is my number. Okay, cool. This is my number. Cool. I just called. Cool. Let me text you. Boom, boom, boom. Follow-up hack. So that's it. I just want to say thanks, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in to this last episode. I hope this season taught y'all how to be more proactive in networking. You know, I hope this podcast continue to help you communicate, establish your network, and maintain your relationships on and off your screen. Y'all, I got listeners in the US. I got listeners in the UK. I got listeners in Australia. What up? What up? What up? We global. What up, Australia? What up? You know, I, I was like, I got some in Australia. I'm going to have to go out there and see what's going on over there. What up, though? You guys are awesome. Please share the podcast. Rate the podcast. Five stars. You can find me on all socials. At the Book of Des, On TikTok, IG, Twitter, LinkedIn, Desiree Jones, Video Creative. I will have the video portion of this on my YouTube channel. And as well as all the other videos on my YouTube channel, Desiree Jones, or at the Book of Des. Um, so be sure to subscribe and follow me for updates for season two. Oh my gosh, love you guys. And um, you know, I hope you have a fantastic summer. This podcast is on the Pink Kangaroo Network, a podcast network for out-of-the-box thinkers. 
For more information on the Pink Kangaroo Network and me, visit www.pinkkangaroo.com. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there and shine bright. See y'all. Bye.